Hey, so I did a video about my favorite, uh, my two favorite upgrades for the Hyundai Palisade. And of course, the first one that I did was actually my second favorite, and that is the uh, wireless CarPlay enabler, which basically on the Hyundai Palisade, I don't have an option to do wireless CarPlay for the Calligraphy Edition. It just simply isn't. Uh, they say, they claim that it's not reliable, and I, I can see how that could be a problem. Still, it's, it would have been nice to have the option to choose versus you didn't have one. The first major upgrade is this little, this guy right here. It's actually the Kama AI self-driving module. You see it has a screen right there. It has a bunch of uh, metrics on it. And uh, that's because I installed a special uh, software called um, a fork by Sunny Pilot. So the car is driving by itself right now. It sees a car moving forward, it will follow ahead. I set a speed limit of 36 miles per hour. And that is pretty much only because, I, you know, when I'm stuck in traffic, I don't need it to really speed up. And that that's just how I generally find that it is completely smooth. So I'm not pressing on the accelerator at any point in time, or nor am I pressing on any gas. If someone cuts in front of me, the car will actually slam on the brakes as necessary. And, um, you know, I, it's, it's best that I still pay attention because there's, it's, it's not a perfect driving thing. Uh, it's still something that when I'm driving locally like here, I would prefer to just be able to step in at a moment's notice. Like I could just straight up just take over when I want to. So I see the speed's going up a little bit faster, so I'm going to increase the speed limit a little bit. And that's usually the way I interact when I'm in stop and go traffic or if I'm in rush hour traffic. But a lot of people have been asking me, like, Mike, uh, why would I bother getting this versus just the highway driving assistance? It's because highway driving assistance is basically a smart cruise control, right? Think of this as version two of smart cruise control. It's actually very similar to Cadillac Super Cruise in that um, I can be completely hands off, right? And there's actually a LTE data module in here that can link up all together with the maps and give you the proper or the safest speed uh, limits and um, take the turns appropriately if you want to. There's a bunch of customizations that you can't do on the Hyundai Palisade. And also the fact that I don't actually have to put my hands on the steering wheel is, you know, pretty amazing. Now, things it won't do is if this turned into a red light, it's not going to stop for me right now. That's software updates that's going to be coming potentially later. I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Pretty much, I'm just enjoying this as a super cruise. And I put about 11,400 and 400 some miles on the car right now. And it's driven well over half of that for me. And that's basically when I turn on the cruise control, it's driving for me. One thing I don't like is that right now, okay, so things are slowing down up ahead. The car's slowing down for me automatically. When I'm driving, I'm actually uh, less aggressive in terms of how I slow down when a car is in front of me. This is a little bit more aggressive. It tends to brake when it's closer. Um, I find that, uh, you know, it, it just varies on your driving style. Now, I understand some of those things are tunable. Right turn left. I just haven't gotten around to it, so uh, I, I just kind of leave it alone. So at all, all the way at this point, I'm not accelerating, I'm not braking, nor am I turning. All I was doing was adjusting the cruise control the speed uh, just to just because, right you know, I, I was in stop and go traffic. Now, if I'm driving on a freeway, let's say I'm taking the I-5 Interstate 5 all the way down to LA, um, it, it, I just, basically all I need to do is follow a car. Okay, so here's a turn. It's not going to do it for me. It'll start. Well, let's see on, on certain curves. It'll do it for me So here I can see that it's not going to do it quite for me because it exceeds the It exceeds the specifications that I had set it or that is automatically set for this in terms of what it is allowed to turn and how much torque it's allowed to use so in a case like that or basically in these special scenarios like this, I'm definitely taking over. There's just no doubt. Like when there's construction scenarios, uh, you don't know if there's gonna be any traffic cones, there's gonna be objects on the road. This isn't gonna handle it quite so well because what it's doing is it has these cameras that are built into this unit up here. This unit up here has cameras. It has three different cameras. One of them is more regular wide angle. One of them is facing inside to make sure that I'm paying attention and awake so that, um, you know, basically that I'm alert. 
and then another one is kind of uh, is a telephoto that sees more into the distance in a straight line so that it sees what's happening up ahead now uh, as far as some um, things that I hope it will do in the future, one of them, and I think that this is an update, is that when I press on the brakes right now, when I press on the brakes, basically it, uh, it, it stops with the self-driving. But it will continue automatically, which is great if I press on the accelerator, whereas in highway driving assistance, I think when you press on the brakes, it just turns it off and then you got to switch it and turn it back on again. So um, I know that there's an update that's coming out or at, that's already available that I haven't downloaded yet, which is basically even if I'm pressing on a brakes, it will still handle the turning for me, which is an option that I, I would like to have. Now, as it sits, the software I have running in here is all the way back uh, from June, and there ha have been some other updates, but I kind of take the principle of, uh, you know, if it, if it ain't fixed, I mean, if it ain't broken, you know, you don't really need to fix it. I understand everything about the way the system works because I've I've had the system put in 6,000 miles in there for me already, so I'm quite comfortable with what it's doing uh, already. So I know, and I, I know what to expect because I've done a whole road trip on it, and I know what it's uh, capable of doing, what it's not capable of doing, and I pretty much know where to um, step in. So uh, what, before I go on a next major road trip, I will probably do a uh, another software update just to get some of the new features or advancements or improvements. Uh, I know that uh, this will drive fine even when the visibility is bad, like it has better visibility than I do. Um, I think it's just part of the machine learning that is going on in there uh, that is able to pick it out. But when I get a lot of glare, right, from the screen, the... Um, it's it's just the same. Like if you get a lot of glare on the cameras, there could be some parts that it is simply just not going to be able to handle very well, and you know that's just something that uh, uh, you know that that's just going to um, affect all self-driving cars that don't utilize other sensors. Now this does this will help me auto automatically change lanes, just like highway driving assistance. Uh, I think version two does that pretty well where I just click the clicker and then I just nudge the steering wheel to whatever lane I want to go to and as long as it sees that it's clear or from the sensors in the car it'll do that so it integrates with the sensors in the car and the cameras on here in order to figure out what it is that um, it needs to do in order to uh, do the driving for you or it assist you with the driving so yes, this is why I highly recommend it. It is a major upgrade, I feel, from highway driving assistance. And it is a big reason why I chose to get the Hyundai Palisade because the, um, the Palisade is one that is fully uh, most compatible with the unit, all right? So yeah, that, that's, that's basically why. So this is, that's why this is the number one upgrade. Now, this module costs, uh, I believe, $2,000. You got to get a harness for your car now if you upgrade to a different car you can buy a different harness and then attach that to that car so let's say if i switch from this car to a kia for instance uh let's just say for whatever reason i get the telluride uh, i could get the kia harness well actually the kia and hyundai harness are the same thing so let's say i switch to a toyota and the toyota is compatible with this let's say i get a toyota corolla because that seems to be the best budget car that is super reliable then um, you know I, I can just buy the harness and just pay two hundred dollars and move the system completely over to the uh, Camry. Okay, Use so right two lanes to take exit it works great, it works fantastic, and I, I I think the only thing that would better improve is if it would be able to catch up with Tesla and be able to do the full self driving even in beta mode where it stops uh, and takes turns and, and brakes and stuff for you. Uh, this doesn't do that right now. That's that's just something that should hopefully happen in the future with future development. All right, hopefully that answers a lot of your questions. Um, I turn it on and off just by clicking cruise. I set a speed on it and it does it all for me automatically. Now, if I'm driving locally, uh, right now, I am actually pressing the gas just because I just want to control right it right now, but, but I could easily hit the cruise. The and Airport. their motto is just, just drive and chill or something or, or it, it, basically that's how I feel. I feel a lot less stressed with the self-driving module for me because I could definitely do other things and it will handle all this stuff for me. 
and oh highway driving assistance ping pongs left and right on the on the on the lanes uh, this is much more stable it Take has a really exam. clear line you can see it here so you can see what it's going to do uh, right there so you know it, it it does a great light. job. All right, the right do me a favor. Drive, give me, give this a like, subscribe for more, airport. share with your friends if they have questions about this, or if you have any other questions about the uh, self-driving modules, I've, I've put several thousand miles on it already. Uh, go ahead and feel free and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Peace.